Hey everybody Ann here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. Already did my morning chores. I got a lot to do today. I've got to work on the garden area. I've got to get the uh, wood burning stove uninstalled and maybe put the air conditioner in the window. Um, I just have this burning urge to plant more things. I don't know why. I just something is telling me plant more food. So I've got a lot of rabbit droppings and a lot of yucky clay soil, so I don't know if I can do anything with that, but we're going to see. Look at this, you guys. I put up the fence. I broke down the fences around several of these beds. I still have two I need to take down, but I didn't think I could use it for this. And I've really just put up a couple of stakes. I'm going to put up more to make it better, but really, I didn't need it to be super high. I just needed it to be tall enough see I joined it together here I just needed it to be tall enough to keep the chickens out um, this is kind of the way I had it last year but uh, yeah I was able to get it all yeah here I need to join this together a little bit better um, get it all the way over there again so now I just need to remove the coverings over the other beds and uh, you know clean this area up make it look better and hopefully things will grow. In the three garden beds, I have put some of the rabbit manure mixed with the bedding, and I've just kind of spread it over the top. And you can see the corn is already starting to come through, so that's great. And I put some in this one. I may need to put a little bit more and some in this one. I didn't put any in these. What? What is that? Oh my gosh. That's what it is. It's zucchini. I got a zucchini coming up already. Yay. Anyhow, oh, that's wonderful. Um, I didn't put any in these three beds because this is fresh uh, garden soil with fertilizer in it. So I didn't think it needed any um, later on in the season. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put more in there. But let me just have a look around and see if there's any more squash coming up anywhere. Doesn't look like it. No squash, no beans. Nope, I don't think so. I got a few more stakes in, and I'm using those little garden hoopy thingies just to kind of shore it up a little bit more. I haven't attached it with anything yet because uh, I'm not sure I'm going to leave it this way. But it will keep the chickens out, and I can basically just crawl over it, just like hold on to that pole and uh, lift one leg and the other over it and I can get in. All of the garden beds have been liberated. Hooray! And things are doing really, really well. Look at these tomatoes. They look great, don't they? Yep, they're getting big. And even my little seedling tomatoes are doing pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. Now I just gotta water everything. The first bit of water that comes out of this hose is always really hot. I don't want to put that on my tender plants, so I don't just discard it. I just put it in one of these here receptacles, and it'll cool off eventually. Let's see. Yup, that's good. Let's water these babies. They're poking through the manure, the rabbit manure. I'm going to give this a nice soaking. Look, you guys. Another zucchini's coming up. I got two. I have a feeling <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of zucchini. Now, I don't know if I'm going to leave all of these squash in here, but I just didn't know which ones would sprout where. So, as soon as I figure... Oh, look it. Look it. Oh, hold on. Here's another one. You see it? Right there. It's coming up. Hooray! Alright, let me just finish watering this, this part of the garden. What? Look at this, you guys. Beans. I got beans. Oh, these are the yellow beans my mom sent me. Look at I got two coming up there. I don't know if any are coming up here. I'm not going to disturb anything just so I can see beans. Oh, looks like it. Nope, that's just a fertilizer pearl. So, yeah, I'm going to look around and see if I got any more of those coming up. I am so excited. Everywhere that I planted beans, it's coming up. 
there is one there. I already showed you that one. There's one coming up right there. Right there. <laughs> Basically everywhere where I planted these beans, they're coming up. That is absolutely thrilling. One more over here. And these are the kind of beans, remember? They're these yellow ones. Oh! And my mom sent them to me. So, and they're bush beans. So, they're going to stay low. The tomato plants will grow high. Yeah, I'm going to have to stake those tomatoes up. Um, I'm thinking of doing some kind of trellis thingy like I did before. And... I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Because really, you don't want to be driving poles down in at this point because you might ruin the root structure. So, anyhow, yeah, the patty pan squash I put in four places. It's not coming up yet. But I'm confident that it will. Anyhow, I came inside and had some lunch. And now it's time to go back outside and plant something. I think I want to plant some of these. Kentucky Wonder Heirloom Pole Beans. And I think I'm going to put that in the garden bed that I've been working up right outside. I really want to do some cucumbers too and some dill, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I would basically like to just plant all of my seeds somewhere, even in the clay soil, just to see what happens. I don't know if I'll get to that today, but I'm going to get started. This soil has turned out to look kind of good. Pretty good as a matter of fact, after it's been all mixed up. But I did go ahead and grab some of this really good garden soil. I think I'm just gonna dump like a small tub down into each one of these and then plant me some beans right here in front of the tiny house. Don't know if it'll work, but I just feel compelled <laughs> to plant more. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get me some water, too. All right. Oops. Let's just kind of pat this down a little bit. This is a total experiment. All right. Let's plant some Kentucky Wonder Heirloom Pole Beans. I got three beans down in each one. So now I'm just going to cover them up. Gotta grab me some water. Give him a nice little dose of water. I'm just gonna do this kind of carefully, nice and slowly. They don't need a whole lot of water because all the rest of that soil is still pretty damp. So just a Vienna sausage can <laughs> full of water. That's what I had for lunch with cheese and crackers. And one more. So, now I just pray that something comes up and that it actually grows. Next experiment, right here, I have just dug up some of the clay soil and I'm going to amend it with some rabbit droppings and bedding, some wood ash and various other things and see if I can just get this little spot right here to grow something for me. Wood ash, compost, and I had thought about grabbing some more garden soil, borrowing it from one of the other beds, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to see if I just do this, mix it all up, plant some seeds, if it'll grow anything. I got me little holes dug, and I've got three beans in each one, just like the other one. Just going to cover them up. There's not a lot of mystery to this. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think anything will grow in here? I don't know. We're just going to have to see. Clay soil is pretty awful, to tell you the truth. So, but maybe with me amending it in the way that I have, maybe the pine shavings will help aerate a little bit. Let me do this very carefully. And you know the rabbit stuff has lots of good nutrients in it. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. Alright, I wanted to plant cucumbers in a similar fashion, but 
I'm feeling kind of tired, so I'm gonna lay down and take a nap. Three hours later. <sighs> what a huge waste of time! Papa took a nap with me too. <laughs> I got the fan going. Um, it's 85 degrees outside, but it's nice and cool in here, and this insulation has made a difference, that's for sure. Anyhow, the day's almost gone. So, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.